It's always been crazy in Chicago, the day of the Mexican parade. It's always something going down, you know, drinking, being out with everybody like that at night. <sighs> yeah. Let's get into this video. Cartel got me working for the big faces. Money. Federally got my car full of brick cases. Dang. Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking. I spit to my back for my shoelaces. God out, should've seen the look on they faces. Uh. All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper. Uh. Set up by the crew, they done put a banger. Dang. In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there. No thing, then attorney went and beat the case. Got a job digging holes for minimum wage. Oh. Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me. Proud of Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing. Quit the drugs, but you know I went back to selling, six time failing. I went back to prison, got my head right, uh, got my bread right. Yeah. Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe. Trying to do right, I got a mission. Trying to get back to my boys in the prison. That's the right. old me's gone, I ain't never. What's up guys, my name is JC, I am Ron and Strong. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my crew, mi familia, mi raza, you already know what time it is. Subanse la Suburban, we about to take a ride. What's up guys? Hey, welcome to another episode of JC's Chronicles. Yeah, I'm very, very sorry for this man that lost his life. Uh, it shouldn't have happened, but it does all the time. And, you know, alcohol, being in the moment has a, a, a lot, a lot to do with it, especially alcohol. People that are not going to like my opinion, right? Because, like... I just keep it, I keep it real. That's what it is. So I know you guys have seen the video of a man that was uh, shot and killed by uh, some uh, gang members. The day of that parade, you, you're going to be bumper to bumper in neighborhoods that are gang affiliated. You know, SDs, Latin Kings, 2-6. I don't know how far the parade goes down now, but th these are gang controlled areas where you're gonna be back to back on, on you know bumper to bumper and they're gonna be coming up to the cars checking people they've pulled people out of the cars they've shot people you know um my, my big my big thing is this if I still lived in Chicago me I would go watch the parade during the day and somewhere neutral, a neutral ground where I could catch some of it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be out at night, but that's just because of what I know now in my life and what I've been through. I have a lot of friends that made decisions while they were high or drunk and, you know, they wake up with, you know, life sentences and so everybody was telling me, you know, do do a video on, on this on this topic on this on this video, and you know, you you hear the guy, you hear the guy saying that why is he checking people, you know, why are you checking people, and the guy says I'm a SD, and then the guy says I'm a neutron. You're gonna you're gonna mess with a neutron, you're gonna mess with a neutron. And he kept on going and going on and on. I understand the whole like uh, this. This should not have been a cause, to, you know, to lose his life, and, and I understand that. But when alcohol's involved, um, you could tell dude was drunk. You know what I mean? It was just it, it, it's look shit like that shouldn't happen, but it does. That's the thing. And that's what I mean when I tell 
I tell you guys that we have to teach our kids how to live in these war zones. Just enough time for them to get out. You have to teach them when to be out, when not to be out, what to say, like everything, how to, how to even drive around areas that you just don't want to be in or be caught up in because then you just become another statistic. You know how many people get caught up and they have nothing to do with gangs and they're out just doing bad things, the gang members, and they just, they, they just kill this dude for no reason? It happens. Yeah, it's messed up. It's fucked up. Yeah. It shouldn't happen. No, it shouldn't. But it does. It does. And it's going to keep happening. And it's going to keep happening, keep happening. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you a story. Okay. And you can take this however you want. I grew up in the hood. I know what it is to get the gun handed to you and your security and it's your responsibility if something happens on that block when you're on security. I understand that. But let me tell you this. If something happens and you don't do nothing about it, guess what? The whole neighborhood's gonna talk about you. You might as well just pack it up and leave because they're gonna talk so much shit about you because you didn't do nothing because you're a bitch. You didn't kill nobody, right? But when you do and you will, no one's gonna remember you when you go away, trust me. No one's gonna write you. No one's gonna send you money. No, they're gonna forget about you in one year. And you'll be gone, and you'll just be another one sitting at, at a table with a bunch of other SDs or Latin Kings or Cobras or whatever, sitting at a table doing 20, 30 years. I, I talk about this shit because I lived it and I did it. I seen a lot of my boys go away forever. I seen a lot of my boys make decisions that fucked them up forever. If you think you holding a gun makes you a man, you got something coming, man. Because I seen some really tough guys get on their knees and cry of everything they missed out with their family because they were, they were playing tough guy on the street. Hey, my name is JC. I am Wrong and Strong. Don't judge nobody. Stay in your lane. Live savage. And remember, you only have one life to live. Live it out here free. Not gangbanging. Not doing drugs. Not doing time. Live life to the fullest and don't regret nothing. I'll catch you guys on the rebound.